the custom audiences, it's really just a few. As you start to build out more pages, then yeah, you can always set up custom audiences, but the most important are these three. So that's what we'll set up right now. So click on done, get out of that, get, a, get out of that part, done. Click on done or X out. So right here you have the intro video. So that right there, first custom audience of those who viewed that first one, and that was 25% of that time. That's our first custom audience. Now we'll set up these other three. And that's pretty much it. And then from this point on, you'll set up audiences around every video. So if you continue to put out video, you'll always want to come over here and set up custom audiences around the video. So now we'll click on the blue button and then just go to custom audience, custom audience. And then we're going to go website. The first one we went video, this one, we're going to go website and then hit next. Okay, perfect. So now it's the source. It's telling you right there that it's coming from um, that pixel, the green dot. You always want to make sure it's a green dot. And then the events, go ahead and click on all website visitors. Click that drop down, and you're going to go to specific people who visit specific web pages. See, the pixel is on the page, and the pixel is tracking tracking just the activity. But now we're narrowing it in to a specific link. We're going to name this link, name this audience of people who landed on this link, right? So now paste, now now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Kartra, let's go to the opt-in page. Go to the opt-in page. And all you're gonna do is simply, let's get out of here. Never leave it idling. Go back to Kartra, go back to the other one. Never leave it like this. Hit the green button in the top right, you save progress, you publish live, and you return a dashboard. Always, three steps, always. Don't ever leave it like this, because then you end up, something you end up losing something so just always get out of it return a dashboard okay cool so now go to the tabs that are already open we need the opt-in okay so right here you don't need the the https or the www only the domain only the url so get everything except for the 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 end part you don't need that end part the r dat underscore done like you don't need any of that just go to seller guide go all the way up to seller guide no you don't need the www you only need the domain so wesleychapelwithhome.com forward slash seller guide. That's it. That's for custom audiences and for custom conversion, which is what we have to do next. And then, and then we're done. But you only need the domain. So now go back to the ads manager and you're going to paste it in right there at the bottom. At least one of these values. Paste it in right there. Okay, perfect. And now you're going to name the audience. So hit the blue, hit the drop down right there. It's blue. Click on that. The blue. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. The blue. The blue. That's fine. That's fine. Leave it. That's fine. So go down and uh, and name the audience. So scroll down. This is and and name it. So this is this is seller guide web page visitors. Seller guide web page visitors. And in parentheses, we're gonna put only. Seller guide web page visitors only. And then what we're gonna do? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This is very specific, man. That, that, again, this is why most people don't make money running ads because they don't focus on any of this shit. We have to be very specific. So here we're telling Facebook, anybody who lands on that link is a web page visitor. These are people okay. only. These are people who have never landed on any other page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on exclude people. Exclude people. Click on that one right there. Exclude people. Now go to scroll down. You're going to click all website visitors. Do the same thing as the top. Hit the drop down. All website visitors. Go to specific. Everything is going to be specific. Hit the drop down. Click. Go to specific. Right there. People who visited specific. Same as the top. People who visited specific web pages. So now you're going to go to the thank you page. Go to the thank you page, get that link. You only need the domain. So everything up to thank you. Perfect. So these are, this is a specific audience. They landed on the web page, but they never opted in. They never landed on this link. So we're excluding anybody that has ever landed there. So go ahead and and, and paste in, paste in that link. Where? Right, right there, right there, right there. Paste it in right there. And then hit the drop down. Choose the blue. Hit the drop down. Blue. Right there. Okay. Create audience. 
So that's one audience. This is an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Okay, you'll always want to hit done. You'll always retarget. These are people that are seeing your ad, clicking on your ad, going to your landing page, but haven't opted in. They need to see another ad. So that would be an audience that you start building from ad number two and on. Every ad, every ad from this point on, they're going to be people that are landing here, but don't opt in. Okay, cool. Put them all in this audience, show them another ad. That's the opt-in. That's, I mean, excuse me, that's the landing page. That's the web page visitors only. Now let's click the blue button, create audience, custom audience. Now what we want to do, website, this is going to be a very specific audience again. These are people, hit the drop down, all website visitors. It's always specific. And then now you're going to paste in the thank you page. So right there, you already got it. I think you already got it copied, but yeah. Now we're going to go thank you page. So no, 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 not the, not the name, not the audience name. You're going to paste it in right there. At least one of these values. So it's the link right there. Okay. So now you're going to go to name it audience name, seller guide leads, seller guide leads. That's what this is. Seller guide leads. Anyone who lands on this page, they've opted in such so seller guide leads audience, create audience. So now done, the moment you start capturing leads is the moment that audience starts to build. So let's call that ad number two. On ad number two, you start capturing a lead. I don't care if it's just one lead, it, you still capture the lead. Ad number two, ad number three and on. Ad number three, all the way up to ad number 33. You always wanna exclude that audience. Those people who landed in that audience don't need to see any more ads. Okay. okay. So, and I'll show you as we go and run the ad in the future, I'll show you how to include and target the web page visitors and the intro video. And then I'll also, sh I'll also show you how to exclude the lead audience. Very, very important. So that's that audience. That's seller guide leads. Now let's create our last audience, which is um, click the blue one, go back to go back to custom audience. And now we're going to go website and we're going to create an audience around everyone specific we're going to create an audience around those on the call confirm page. So copy this link right here. And then we're going to paste it in right there. Perfect. So this audience, you don't need to exclude anybody. Um, this audience is simply appointments. Anyone who has landed on this page is someone who scheduled an appointment. So this could be appointments, um, listing appointments, seller guide appointments, whatever, just appointments. That's fine. And you can always rename it. So this is appointments, listing appointments. And, and, and what I do too, man, if I were you, is I would start using my count, my Karcher calendar for everything. So maybe not listing okay. appointments, maybe not list, maybe just appointments. Because as you start to get familiar with this whole Karcher platform, you'll want to use your calendar for everything, for everything. And so anybody who has ever, whoever schedules an appointment, they're going to be in that audience. So just okay. appointments. So create audience. So again, from at, so hit done from ad number two and on, as you start to get appointments, you'll always exclude that audience. Right. And, and, and it's, it's excluding from seeing seller guide type of ads, but what if I want to run an ad to people who scheduled an appointment? Right? Maybe these are people who, I, who, who I've never put under contract. I never sold their house. I haven't found them a house. They're just people who scheduled an appointment. So maybe I want to run an ad straight to them. Okay, I target them. So now, now you could be very specific with your, with your advertising, very specific with your messaging by knowing who is in what audience. Super effective. So those are the three main audiences. Now what we'll do is let me let me any questions on the audiences and custom audiences no i think i got it semi got it yeah 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 <laughs> and, and and you'll again i'm going to be here all the time man so if you we're going to jump on many calls and i'll help you through all this stuff in the future so um that's custom audiences